It's a lightweight bout between Nate Diaz and Eddie Alvarez. A pro career that dates to 2003. Here is the underground king and former UFC lightweight champion, Eddie Alvarez. 17 career wins by knockout. Of course, none bigger than his stoppage of Rafael Dos Anjos in July of 2016 to win the UFC lightweight championship. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. Proudly repping the 209 in Stockton, California. Here is the ubiquitous Nate Diaz, longtime staple of the UFC lightweight and welterweight divisions. He has taken on all comers, realized a lot of success as a 155-pound fighter, had the big win, obviously, over Conor McGregor. Nate Diaz has made a lot of money, and rightfully so. When Nate Diaz makes the walk, the masses are watching. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, a long reach, excellent striking, and a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. This combination of skills has kept him amongst the best in the world at 155 pounds. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Alvarez is one year the elder. Diaz is three inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 28 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Let's and we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Well, back in 2016, he stopped Rafael Dos Anjos to realize a dream and become the UFC lightweight champion. Eddie Alvarez, the underground king. Oh, he got tagged. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? This could be it right here. And now starting to snap off that jab. How about that chin? He's picking him apart. Oh. Big oh, right hand there. Clinton. Nice. Big Fishy body shot. shot. Body. Oh, straight right. Alvarez gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Well, Joe, I know he's an offensive fighter, but he's going to have to figure some things out here defensively, moving forward and right into the straight punch there of his opponent. And they clinch once again. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by Diaz. Good hooks to the body there. Oh, hook to the head by Diaz. Under three minutes remain in round one. And separate. Oh, how good is that jab by Diaz? Alvarez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, clipped him with the left. Straight right, he misses. Dropping down, looking for a single. Nice punch by Diaz. 
Just misses with the jab. There. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Great job landing a series of punches. Nice. Good exchange there. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Diaz. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Right-left combo by Diaz. Alvarez gets in the clinch yet again. And now he's got that tight punch. Now goes to the uppercut. That knee might have landed there. Oh, doubling up on the knee. Alvarez gets the tie clinch here. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. And he gets reversed. 10 seconds. Tries to pass, right. but can't. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here we see some excellent striking, great power on that punch. Incredible striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably... Oh! Huge oh, right hand! This could be it! Oh! Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Joe blocks the body shot attempt there. Oh! Huge shot there, lands flush! Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's see that again from another angle. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Crank right on the jaw. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz. All right, so the celebration is on in the 209 and beyond. Congratulations to Nate Diaz. Yet another big UFC victory here tonight. And he just continues to add to what has been a remarkable legacy. Certainly his series with Conor McGregor resulted in him becoming one of the bigger superstars in UFC history. But a lot of that hay was in the barn beforehand. Nate Diaz has a massive following.